ఎంఎ ఫార్మాట్స్ అండ్ సివి ఫార్మాట్స్ ఫర్ ఫ్రెషర్స్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్డ్ క్యాండిడేట్స్ ఓకే సో ఫస్ట్ లెట్ సి ఫర్ ఫ్రెషర్స్ అండ్ దెన్ లెట్ సి ఫర్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ గైస్ వాచ్ దిస్ వీడియో టిల్ ద ఎండ్ బికాస్ ఐ ఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు టెల్ యూ ద బెస్ట్ రెజ్యూమ్ ఫార్మాట్స్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ దిస్ ఈజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద కామన్ టెంప్లేట్ ఫర్ ఫ్రెషర్స్ రెజ్యూమ్ ఏ కామన్ టెంప్లేట్ ఫర్ ఫ్రెషర్స్ ఓకే సో లెఫ్ట్ you will stick your passport size photo see i am showing you right at this particular place you will be sticking your passport size photo and right side right top most right you will be giving your details like your name your phone number and your email address okay so why you are giving your contact details is with the help of these contact details only you have to like uh, the company the hr will reach out to you okay so that's why it's important to stick your passport size photo in the left here the place which which i am showing you now and right right side you need to mention your name phone number and email okay so next is summary summary is nothing but your objective okay so why you are joining this company okay what is your objective up to 2 to 3 lines you can mention the objective for example to enhance the performance of the company for better output through a disciplined organized and progressive ways with my sincerity creativity and hard work okay so like this first you can mention summary or in place of summary you can also write objective okay objective also will be fine but o should be capital okay so this is the first column okay so after objective like after writing what is your objective like why you would like to join that company next next line is skill highlights what is meant by skill highlights skill highlights are nothing but what are the skills you possess what skills you have for example you are a strong decision maker you are a complex problem solver you are a creative creative design innovative uh, project management like you can easily manage the project you are focused you are innovative all these skills which you have you need to mention here under skill highlights okay so whatever skills you have you can mention here at least maximum up to six skills are enough okay and next is achievements if you are a college passed out student uh, you need to mention what are the achievements you have from your college for example you are a college topper or you did something uh, outstanding in your college all you you can mention under achievements okay so next is education coming to education first you need to start writing your highest degree for example mca from mca from so and so college and passed out year should be in brackets okay uh, for example 20 to 21 batch you should mention like this okay you first in the first line you need to mention what is your highest degree and then your ug and then your class 12th or inter and then your 10th grade like this you need to start writing from your highest degree okay there is a reason for this why i why you need to mention your highest degree first is hr will not have time to see all your degrees if you start writing from your 10th he he can't invest so much time in one single resume okay so if you write your highest degree in the first line once the hr sees your resume he or she will understand okay so uh, this person has a degree of mca or mba or btech so 
is he eligible for the role or not okay it will be easy for the hr also to sort out based upon your degree okay so next is certification certifications are nothing but whatever certification you did if you if you did any certifications in your college mention those certifications but make sure whatever certifications you made you should be qualified you should have been qualified in that certification and you should have the soft copy or hard copy of the certification okay so next is mention your hobbies i suggest you not to put dancing singing playing as hobbies okay so whatever hobbies you keep in your resume they should be useful to the company to your job in some or other way okay so if you sing if you dance if you play that's all secondary it's for entertainment but coming to hobbies your hobbies should impress hr and they should have some sort of use related to your job or related to your company for example hobbies you can write it as to learn new technologies okay so such kind of hobbies you should mention if you want it your resume to be little more huge after hobbies you can also mention your strengths and weakness okay so coming to strength mention your all the strengths what are you have maximum up to 6 okay for example you are patient you are innovative uh, you are a hard worker you are a smart worker all this comes under strengths okay so all this you can mention in your resume and coming to weakness what all weakness you mention think and mention okay your weakness should not be a loophole for the job okay you are uh, based on your weakness hr should not reject you for the job example of one weakness is uh you can mention as i i will not give up anything easily i will not give up easily okay so such kind of weakness if you mention it will be good for the company it will be useful for your job okay so it means that tomorrow if they give you some challenging task also you will not drop it in the middle you will not uh, give up it in the middle so it so your weakness is turned out into a positivity to uh, uh, turned out into a strength to your job to your company so this weakness this kind of weakness will really impress hr okay so this is the first common resume format for freshers okay just have a look once again okay so, so now let's see what is the second resume format for freshers okay so first is you need to in the left most side you need to write your name below that you need to write your mobile number so next is mention your active email address okay and in the right most top here you can stick out your passport size photo okay so below that you need to mention your career objective and career objective should not exceed 3 lines maximum should be of 3 lines after career objective academic qualification as i told you first you need to start with your highest degree and then uh go in the descending order okay so next is extra curricular activities extra curricular activities is nothing but if you are good at any sport if you are good at with if you are good with anything you can mention those under extra curricular activities okay so next is achievements in your college if you have any outstanding performance or achievement with proof 
you can mention it under achievement okay so whatever achievement you mention here you must have a proof of it for example if you say you're a college topper you should have you should be able to show the proof like a uh, topper certificate or uh, your cgpa all these sort of things okay if you say you won in a like you won a particular trophy you should have the proof even for that okay either soft copy or hard copy so next you can mention your key skills what are key skills key skills are nothing but uh, the skills which you are good at okay for example uh, like in whatever in in whichever skills you are good you can mention those as your key skills maximum can be six okay and uh, next is hobbies hobbies as i already told you mention your hobbies which are useful for your job and company next is area of interest area of interest in the sense in which technology you are interested in or in which particular subject you are interested in okay so for example database sql python machine learning c language all this like maximum you can mention up to six okay not more than six so next is personal details now let's see what is the third format of resume for freshers okay so left most side you need to write your name and under your name here you need to stick your passport size photo okay in the right most you need to give your short form address not long address just short form just you know like a short form of your address okay and mention your current mobile number and email address after that here you can write summary or your career objective and next comes skill highlights and there comes your education details and uh, here in this particular uh, resume you will have an extra column which is languages okay what are the natural languages you know such as for example hindi english telugu and certifications what all if you have done any certifications you can mention them okay this is next format and last format for precious resume so in the left hand side here comes your passport size photo and under it you will get your name okay or uh, directly you can write your name and in the right hand right hand side you will be having a summary or objective career objective as your first line and mention your career objective under that you can write your key skills like what are skills you have and next you can mention your educational details in the right most side and in the left most side you can mention your contact details such as address phone number and your current email address okay and coming to the certification you can mention here and uh, in the left hand side you can mention the languages which you know and the hobbies which you have and in the right hand side after completion of your uh, certifications you can mention your strengths and weakness as well as here you can also mention your uh, achievements okay i would like to give additional tip uh, for freshers especially uh, if you have like what all what all project you have done in your final year and uh, what all accomplishments you have made to that and what all uh things you did for that for the completion of the project all these things also you can mention in your achievements okay now let's see what is the resume format for experienced candidates okay so first you need to mention your name under that you, under that you need to mention your phone number and email address and uh, just below your contact details you need to mention your career objective okay so why they need to recruit you why they need to hire you that career objective you need to mention it here it is experience you need to mention your years of experience 
and uh, in which technology you worked and in which company you worked all these things you need to mention under your experience okay so if you have multiple experiences for example or uh, two years you have worked with one company and later three years you have worked with other company then you can just put one and uh, after this you can put two and again mention the years of experience in that particular technology and company okay or you can uh, mention your highlights okay out of your career what all the highlights like if you get in if you worked with the greatest project or if you have any uh, great appreciations received all these things you can mention in your highlights column okay mainly what are your career highlights okay and next is you can mention your education same as i told highest highest uh, degree should be in the first column and then uh you need to start writing your descending way like your pg ug pg ug class 12th and 10th in this format in descending format you need to write okay so next is you need to mention out your hobbies okay so now let's see what is the second format for experienced candidates so yes this is most common and famous template all the higher officials will use this particular template for job interviews okay you need to mention your name and after that you need to mention your contact details such as your email address mobile number and location coming to location just give your address in a short form okay so next is uh, in the right hand side you can mention your relevant project experience what all the projects you have worked and what is your experience in the industry okay so here you need to mention your professional and industry background okay and domain domain in the sense in what all domains you worked and what all domains you are interested in okay and here you can mention your education details same as i told from highest degree to lowest degree with your cgpa what all interested skills what are sk in which all skills you are interested in for example database c language like all these things you can mention okay so next is certification if you have done any certifications you can mention those here okay coming to this particular resume for here you need to mention your name your contact details okay and uh, in the leftmost top you need to stick out your passport size photograph okay so next is you need to mention your career objective work experience education additional skills coming to additional skills in what all skills you are interested in you can mention those and uh, after skills you can mention your hobbies strength or weakness strengths and weakness achievements or appreciations like if you have received any achieve uh, appreciations or uh, if you have any outstanding performance achievements or any sort of such things you can mention them and uh, next is area of interest if you are interested in any particular domain you can mention them okay so last but not least you need to mention your references like if anybody in that particular company have referred you you need to mention their contact details their name mail address phone number and all okay so yeah that's it for today hope you found this video useful don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll never miss a video from best way to study and also don't forget to like and share this video with all your friends thanks for watching